Well, hello everybody. This is Santa Jerry from Santa Switch Adapted Toys. We had a request on how to adapt the Beat Bow or the Beat Bell Junior. These small little toys. Um, I'm not sure if they're still available. I haven't bought or modified any for a long time. But I do have a couple that I uh, modified from before so I can show you how it's done. So the way these are um, activated is it I'm sure if you have one you already know is you move the head and so the switch is in the head and you've got to get access to that um, and I like to keep my cables low so I open up the, or put a hole into the bottom of it turn off beat bow here I put a hole in the bottom of it and send the cable through there so the bottom first how did we get it in there? I've already removed all the screws out. You can see my little hardware bin there. So that cable comes in. I've got a couple of zip ties on it. Uh, I now advocate tying a knot in the in the cable. And you can see here that the zip ties are there. The shielding, outer shielding on this cable isn't very long. It's just like an, less than a half an inch here. And then the wiring that's inside the cable is left. It's now that's the only thing that's in. That has to go all the way through this body and there's no way of opening this body. It's uh, glue sealed shut. Goes through the body and we're accessing this switch which is up on the back side of the head. Now this is a motion switch. If it's tipped something inside of there makes the connection and sends a signal down and if you look at this carefully you can see that there's a uh, yellow and white wire combined that's our cabling that I put in a red wire over here it's, it's cabling I put in but the factory cabling is a red and black wire that was originally there that went to the switch went inside through the down through the spring into the body area and that red and black wire does not come out the bottom. You can't access it and connect onto it because it's connected inside here somewhere. And again, that's almost impossible to get apart. Or I haven't found a way of doing it. You destroy the toy. So we need to find a way of getting our cable from here up to the top and doing a fairly easy add them on to both sides and put it on there. How I done that is a zip tie. Because this is a fairly small and congested opening, uh, and your cable that you're going to put in is flexible, trying to push it up there doesn't work very well. But if you take a zip tie and you feed it down through the body, now you've got it down here. You take your wires, tape them on. I know my hands are covering it up here. You want to tape them on and keep that wiring just as minimal as you can because you've got to pull it through that body. Now I'm not going to pull this up there. I, I, I doubt that it would go. I think that 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 area is way too congested with other stuff but you get the idea of how we're going to get that up there we're going to fish it through by pulling the one and gently feeding the other one in until they comes out the top okay so demonstration for that once that's up there you attach your switch wires to both sides of this and it's now adapted. Put it all back together and it will now work with a remote switch. Okay. So for those that were interested in that, thank you for asking. I hope this helps. If there's any questions, you can please leave them down in the comments. And if you subscribe to my channel, you'll see any new content that I put up first and be able to uh, 
maybe use that in, in your uh, experiences to adapt toys. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Sanda Jury, Sanda Switch Adapted Toys.